Hi there everyone and welcome back to Raccoon's Radio Ranch. In this video I'm going to show you a radio that I was encouraged by the rest of you to buy. I'm going to talk about that a little bit in this video and show you how the radio works. So let's get started. Hi there everyone and welcome to Raccoon's Radio Ranch. This video I'm going to talk to you about the Lincoln 2 Plus. I bought this radio about a week ago and I've been using it since and I'm pretty impressed with the radio. I think the uh, president made a nice radio with this one. And we're going to talk about this a little bit. The first thing I'm going to tell you is that a lot of people aren't aware in the past president was teamed up with Uniden and they were making their radios for him. But now President's making these radios themselves, which is pretty good. And now, I'm going to let you know, first off, that this radio has three different colors, orange, green, and blue display. I see a lot of people use the green, but I like the orange. These radios have an adjustable RF power, so you can turn it up and down. And it'll tell you in the display here, when you're keyed up, how much power you're pushing. Let's turn this up. There you go. I'm on sideband. It has AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband, CW, which is uh, continuous wave Morse code, and a PA. Right now I'm sitting on 38 lower sideband listening to some people talking. One thing that I've noticed with President is that they like to have, now you can't see that in this mode, let me go back to AM so I can show you. They have the ASC which is automatic squelch control. They're pretty proud of themselves for that and it's a nice feature this radio in a lot of way it reminds me of um, the HR 2510 maybe I'll bring out a video comparing the two because I have the HR 2510 as well so one of the reasons why I wanted the Lincoln 2 plus because it's a lot like the, the HR 2510 president definitely made a nice radio with the HR 2510 has plenty plenty of uh, features to this radio uh, my HR 2510 it's got the you know all the same AM FM upper lower sideband stuff like that it does not have echo in it but it does have a Roger beep which you can turn this Roger beep on just like that same way with the echo and the Lincoln 2 Plus also has talk back in it. So if you're adjusting your, um, let me go back to sideband here real quick. So if you're using your Echo, you can adjust it in the menu. And you can also make your Roger Beep longer or shorter and change its tone also in this menu. They've got a lot of nice features. This has even got Vox in it. You can go through your bands. Just like you know, I can do this with my HR2510 as well. And these are a, a six pin mic jack. I'll show you that. See, there's our six pin mic jack. These are not a, the common four pins or anything like that. Wow. I do, I do have the stock mic for this, but I'm actually not using that. I'm using 
The M6, well, I'm really too close for that. I'm using the M6 mic that I changed the board in. There's a little bit of skip coming in on 38 lower sideband today. Well, a, a feature that this has that I think is kind of nice is, but can be annoying too, is when I get to 40, I go and it jumps up above. Now I'm on band B, it's at 41. It's nice if I want to go up there, like let's go see the triple nickel. Nothing there today either. The bands are kind of quiet. The skip comes in a little bit, but not a lot today. I would definitely recommend these radios. I think that uh, President did a nice job with this. I really like this radio. I wasn't so sure about it at first. And as a matter of fact, when I when I bought the Striker, this is the radio I argued with myself about. Did I want this radio or did I want the Striker? In the long run, I ended up going with the Striker, which I I don't regret at all. As a comparison in audio, I think this has got a lot of audio. It's got a good strong signal. I was 15 miles away from the house yesterday and could still hear it very well. So they, this is a good radio. These do get out. They get out really well. I have no complaints about the President Lincoln 2 Plus. This is a good, good radio. Let's see where the talk back is. I think it's monitor. I get to the there's the Roger beep. Right there. It's off. I'll set it to two. Well, I'll set it to five so you can hear it. And I'm going to take it off of this. I'll go to AM and then I'll go down. Go way on down. Let's see. One, two, three. And then I turn my uh, echo on. One, two, three. And I'll turn the Roger beep on. One, two, three. And that's what it sounds like with the Roger beep. And I can go in the menu. And go back. Oh, I don't want to do that. Go to where the Roger beeps at. And in here, I can change. The pitch of it. Okay, let's see. One. Let me take it off here. One, two, three. Now it's pitch is a little different. Let's try this one. One, one, two, three. Hear the difference? Now it's a little deeper. Now I'll put it back up. Right about here. There's the monitor. You 
can also adjust the brightness of your screen in the menu. Set what channels you want it to go to for emergencies. Reset it back to factory and then back here again. One, two, three. Now it's going longer. You make all kinds of adjustments in this radio. These are definitely a radio worth buying. I wouldn't, as I'd said before, I would definitely recommend. A Lincoln 2 Plus. I've had so many of you in my comment sections always talking about their your Lincoln 2 Pluses because you guys were recommending them so much and spoke so highly of them I decided I had to get myself a Lincoln 2 Plus and I'm glad I did. I'm not sure if I'll put this in the mobile. I mean if I did I'd take it back out it's not something I'd leave there all the time. But these are definitely a very nice radio. And for the money, they do not charge a lot for these. These generally run like $279, something like that. I'll put a, you know, I'm talking about it. I'll put it here so you can see it. I'll also put a link in the description area below to uh, where you can go to buy one of these Is there for, for the money. Definitely worth buying this radio doesn't cost much excellent performing radio great audio lots of features I highly recommend this radio to anybody looking for a radio definitely grab onto a Lincoln 2 plus especially if you're on a budget now if you like this video please do me a big favor and give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed to the channel that's right down there that's pretty easy to do and don't forget to go visit Raccoon's Radio Ranch right here. You see that? Raccoon's Radio Ranch, the store. It's plenty of merchandise there. We got new logos, new uh, items. And uh, every little help you give the channel is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. If you like the content in this video and you'd like to see more, then click one of these two boxes to see more videos like this. Thank you.